Chicoutimi, Quebec is a city built on aluminum. It's also a city with one of the world's premier bike companies, Da Vinci Cycles. Da Vinci was officially started in 1987 by two college students, a small operation making road bike frames from locally sourced aluminum. And then Felix Gautier showed up. Felix, a born and raised Chicoutimi resident, had recently shattered his leg when his steel road bike broke after hitting a pothole. Looking for a safer frame, he found one at Da Vinci. A year later, in 1990, he bought the company. Nearly two decades since that purchase, that safer road frame has earned regular appearances on World Cup podiums. But from their materials, to their employees, to the trail system leading out their back doors, Da Vinci still operates on Felix's original dream. Enhance the cycling community, source locally, and build some of the highest quality bikes in the world. A beautiful bike begins with originality and vision, and Da Vinci's mechanical engineering technician, Pascal Ferriot, is known for both. Alongside the famous split pivot design by Dave Weigel, Pascal and his small R&D team are responsible for developing Da Vinci's famously innovative suspension design and geometry. But even the most well-designed bike can be ignored if it doesn't look good. It's Da Vinci's art director, J.P. Tremblay, who makes sure Da Vinci's bikes get noticed, from the color schemes and decal placement to the naming of each model. Combining Pascal's mechanical vision and JP's visual aesthetic, a prototype of the frame goes to production foreman Yannick LaRouche. Each prototype is painted yellow to make it easier to spot cracks, then subjected to a rigorous testing process until it breaks. It's Yannick's job to make sure each design is up to Da Vinci's demanding standards. For their aluminum frames, Da Vinci takes advantage of their hometown's signature industry. Using as much local aluminum as possible, Gerald Boily, the company's machinist, cuts the long stock lengths into the correct sizes for each model and frame size. The shortened tubing along with raw blocks of stock-sized aluminum then go to Francis Houdin, Da Vinci's CNC machinist. Houdin machines and crafts both the tubing and blocks into the pivot and chainstay parts of the frame, using two mounting jigs designed specifically for each component. The CNC machine runs for about 30 minutes on each side of the block, turning the raw aluminum into specific parts. Thanks to the setup, Switching between jigs for different components takes a brief 30 seconds. Cut and shaped, the machinists then deburr each pivot and stay, trimming away any excess material. The finished part heads to the next step, while the leftover metal shavings head to a nearby recycling plant. With all the parts ready, it's time to create an actual bike. This process starts with Stéphane Bouchard, Da Vinci's chief welder, who does the initial tack welding on a hydraulic brake jig setup. The jig allows the frame to rotate 360 degrees, and welds are all done in a special sequence to minimize the warping and give the frame short periods to cool down. Tack welding is just to hold things together, however. Working up to four at a time, Kevin Lavoie and Da Vinci's team of welders make sure Stefan's efforts become permanent. As in the tack process, all welds are made in a specific sequence to reduce warping, and a large rod is put into the seat tube to help keep things straight. But even so, the welding process weakens the metal and can deform the tubing. Mathieu fortin Lavoie, Da Vinci's heat treatment and alignment specialist, puts each frame in an oven for two hours, after which he plunges them into a tank of oil and water, and then a water tank for rinsing. These special heat treatments help relieve stress to both the weld and the metal around them. Each frame is then straightened on a special alignment jig. To imitate aging of the aluminum, next, Mathieu puts the aligned frames in another oven overnight to harden them. With this, they are ready for final machining. After the rigors of welding and heat treating, the bottom brackets, head tubes, and pivot points need to be reamed to ensure they fit the desired specifications and that everything lines up. During the initial machining, bearing and axle holes are left overly small to give it extra material for cutting the proper tolerances. 
and to ensure everything works together perfectly. The mechanical aspect may be the most vital, but a great paint job is the face of the finished bike, and head painter Manon Gagnet is the woman to do it. The frames used to be powder coated in the factory's paint facility, but the ever increasing volume of bike sales means the job has to be outsourced down the street to a local Shikutimi powder coating company. The paint facility is still used, but only for special projects and warranty parts. Aligned, machined, and with a new paint job, the frames are almost finished. With up to 250 frames coming through the factory every day, quality control technician Michel Collard inspects each, including the carbon frames imported from Asia, before they move to the assembly line. With Michelle's go-ahead, the sizing stickers are applied and the frame is ready for assembly. Just as building a frame is an art form, so is building a wheel to match it. Jean-Martin Tremblay is the master behind da Vinci's wheel sets. The hands behind assembling the hubs and spokes, however, come from a local company that employs developmentally disabled adults. Their work is then placed into a custom machine that stresses the spokes back and forth to make sure they're seated properly. From here, each wheel moves to an auto-truing machine that can true a wheel in under a minute, meaning at maximum capacity, the factory can build 300 wheels a day to outfit 150 bikes. Despite the high volume, the machine will spit out any wheels with issues for hand truing, ensuring everything coming out of the production line is perfect. Next come the tires and tubes, and with that, the wheel sets are ready for dirt. With the individual parts finished, the last step is to put everything together. Under the watchful eye of assembly supervisor, Danielle Boivin, each bike is outfitted with parts kits, all unique to Da Vinci. The amount of in-factory assembly depends on the specific model, but workers use pneumatic tools on all the bikes to ensure proper torque specs and to reduce the physical stress on their bodies. Depending on their destination, the complete bikes are then shipped to warehouses in Europe, the US, BC, and Quebec. From there, they make their way to shops and customers just like Felix, spreading the dream that started with two college students and the search for a safer frame. And while today Da Vinci looks a lot different than it did nearly three decades ago, the priority is still quality. In the past 29 years, that dedication has taken Da Vinci's bikes all over the world, from podiums to pelotons and leisure rides. But when it comes down to it, a bike is only as good as the people and place where it's put together. <laughs>